Hello everybody, my name is Steakman Extraordinaire. Today we're going off on a quest. I'm going to shove steak in my face in the most cringy YouTuber way possible. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get that flint that I said I was going to get 4 million years ago, and then try to go in the nether. But, chances are I'm probably going to melt to death. So here's what's going to happen. I'm probably going to have to make a suit out of slime. See, the problem is, is I have no clue where a swamp is around here, and... I'm a little bit lazy to look at slime chunks right now, but it might happen later. You'll see next time on Dragon Ball Z. So I started my journey familiarly as I do typically, by running away from my house at Mach Zero. And then noticed I have gravel right next to my house. Well, isn't that just nice? Um, Aha! I've finally done it. The flint is within my grasps. So once I had achieved the almighty rarest gem of flint, I started my way back to home because I needed to grab my shop of flint and steel. I have an inactive portal if you hadn't seen the other videos, so I needed to put together the proper things to activate it. And look at that. Now we have the flint and the steel. I walk my little sexy ass downstairs to find my portal and activate it. No problems there. Easy peasy. Upon my arrival to the hellscape, it looked pretty typical. Zombie pigmen were a little bit better animated, so that's cool, but it didn't really do anything for me. Now what I would do if I was smart is mark that, but since it's already marked, that's lit. And looking at my map, it seems like I'm actually really close to another fortress, which is also freaking lit. Thank you, map, for marking that for me. Real intuitive. Now, I haven't actually been playing Minecraft for a few days. Since oh, crap, it's pitch black. Yeah, there we go. I haven't actually been playing Minecraft for a few days, so I'm a little bit out of practice. That's a juggernaut blaze. I don't... What the... Fuck, what is that? Ow, God, it's got fireballs. Oh, it's got so much, it's got so much health. 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 I've got, oh, damn it, I'm gonna die. Hey, yep. I'm gonna get back there. Also, I was burning up very quickly. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. As per usual with the nether, I died in the first five seconds of being here. Now I can only hope that my stuff doesn't go flying all over the floor. Ow. What the? Is there a cre There's a creeper here. There's a creeper here. There's a creeper here. I'm not sure what kind of creeper, but it's a creeper. Oh, that's fire. Oh, uh, maybe it's the juggernaut, actually. Maybe it's the juggernaut. I'm sure he's coming for me. Yep. Uh, what would be good against a juggernaut but an ice ball? It looks like it does decent damage. Seems like something they would be weak to. Made of fire and all that crap. And like that, I got revenge for the juggernaut that had murked me, so... Now I just need to reorganize my entire flipping inventory. And put my Benzor back in my Benzor slot. Uh, or Bezor. I don't know, whatever. I need to get these torches in my hand while I'm at it, because I don't want Gru to be all pissy with me. And, unfortunately, it seems like my recall potions don't actually work here, which sucks. Oh, nope, it was the creeper. Stop being so happy. Oh, he killed himself. He's a Taliban man. Okay, well, I'm here. Actually, I'm getting really hot. Um, it doesn't seem like being super hydrated is actually keeping me very cool. I wouldn't need to be here long, theoretically. But, oh yeah, I see the fortress. There it is. And another one of those scary lizard shits. Oh, actually, yeah. I'm burning right away, so it looks like I'm going to have to make my way, my hot ass, back to the overworld and see what I can do to cool myself because I'm not going to make 400 cooling coils to get here. So it seems I'm going to need slime and ice while I burn my tukus on my way home. But now that I'm cooled off, I'm going to start going... I guess, let me look at a map here. Get rid of 
that. I think I'll go, you know, I haven't gone over this direction very much, and it seems like there's stuff over there. So I'm going to go that way, and hopefully we'll come across an ice biome or something of that sort. Um, I'm not really sure how to make ice even beside that. Is is there? Can you just make ice? Let me check. Because if I can make ice, I might be able to smash it, and that will give me. Okay. Shattered ice or ice cubes. Cool, so absolutely not helpful. Um, you know, if I can find a spell that cools me down, that would also be pretty neat. I'm not sure how I would do that. I would have to hit myself with some sort of freezing spell. But anyway, uh, I'm going to take a nap real quick like a smart person, and then uh, I'll see you guys uh, while I'm on my journey next time something interesting happens. On my travels, I discovered a abandoned mine rail made by the builders of old. I, it took my immediate interest, so I tried to make a soft landing, but it didn't work out too good, as you saw. The wind was blowing around my particles, and I could use some help. So luckily, I had my wand on my person. I wanted to travel the mines and grab whatever was useful, but it looked like it was going to get deep. I wasn't sure how deep, and I knew that there was a floating tool right here that would be happy to kill me, typically, but I guess this one was friendly, so... I let him be, although I was getting thirsty, so I didn't know what I was going to do about that, besides whip out my 400 canteens. did grab some gold, though, since that seemed to be a real popular option for the wizard. I traveled down a little hole, meaning I would probably never find my way back up, and found this little chest. It had Riptide. I'm not really 100% what that does, but that's alright. So I grabbed some various things and continued walking about, intentionally in the opposite direction of the spiders to see if there was anything over there so I could come back to it. But there wasn't really anything of interest. So I came back pretty dang quick, continued to hear the spiders, saw some dirty water, wanted to drink it, but I still had a canteen at the moment. So first things first, drank my canteen. I noticed a floating tome in the distance. That's interesting. Very. Got some more dirty water. Found the baby spiders in the bewitch tome. Turns out it wasn't even... Turns out it wasn't even, you know, poison spiders at all. So it looks like my basil or basil, benzo or whatever it is, is going to have to wait to see some use. I kept getting stuck in the spider web, which was honestly not bad. Because it means the spiders were going to have a hard time getting to me. And that means I could just stab at the sniper, or the spiders from afar. But I ran those spiders pretty quick and looked up and saw lots of baby spiders chilling. So I guess I'll just kill them one by one. Ooh, this one gave me ammo. Sweet. And that one did too. Heck yeah. Yeah, I love some ammo. I love me some ammo. Unfortunately, it looked like a dead end over here besides the baby spiders, so I was just going to stab any remaining one of those and have to turn around. It seemed like that one was invisible but died to thorns or something weird. Honestly, not sure. What I am sure of, however, is that would have been nice to have a feed spell. Unfortunately, I'm not in possession of one. Uh, however, I do got heals, so that's good at least. Found another one of these jail cell thingies, but this one didn't seem like it had any buttons on it. How interesting. So I opened up a little crevasse and started stabbing at the zams. Knowing that the spawner would probably immediately respawn them. I took out my torch and placed it over there. And hoped to god Gru was not going to be a pain in the ass. And that's when I noticed, on the adjacent wall, there seems to be a regular spawner for skeletons. So I blocked it up for now. And then the combat skeleton over here is trying to kill me, but I wanted to get rid of the spawner that's over here before I dealt any further. So I did that, got stuck in the spider web, and then opened the chest while I was waiting. Got some ammo, more bombs, even a golden apple, pumpkin seeds. I don't know if I had those yet, but now I do. And some more torches, which was going to be helpful in my next war. The war on the skeleton nation. So first thing first, I opened up the floor so I could stab at the skeletons a little bit. By the time I was finished with them, it seemed like I'd rounded up the full, or I'd rounded up the full capability of the hedge, and I 
of the spawner, even though it would have been a good source of XP. Because I wanted the boxes, and in this one was a Manco crate key. Heck yes. I did not have one of those yet, and I was ready to deal loot boxing. Found a bow, which honestly didn't have a super ton of use, thanks to my wand. Some recall potions, a scroll of... Don't ask me what it is, I'm not sure. We're about to find out, though, because I'm going to test it. Magic Mesmortis. Turns out it was Thunderbolt. In this one, I found a Darwin's Danger Shield, which is an equipable for your chest, I believe. Is that going to give me more or less armor? It's going to give me a little bit less. But I do burn for a lot less time, and I got a bunch of fire resistance. Ooh. Ooh. I don't really want to die faster, but at the same time... Uh, ooh, wormhole potion. Astral Diamond. I can use that to trade for Master Crap from random dudes. Uh, there was a wormhole potion in here and some melon seeds to go with my pumpkins. Uh, the wormhole potion then in briefly insulted me on the fact that I was alone. Yes, I'm playing modded. Yes, that typically means alone. It's hard as hell to run a server, if you didn't know, with mods because they tend to... The servers tend to get really pissed about it. Like, it, like, if you're running one, the server tends to get messed up. I then got attacked by a Skellington warrior that was very happy to stab at me. Uh, but with my increased health pull and patience, because this sword really doesn't deal that much damage, I was able to murderize it. Then I healed. Got more torches together. Then decided to go downstairs to see if there was anything interesting. This away. What the hell are you? Frigid. Are you a frozen zombie, I guess? Let it go! You heard it here first, folks. Elsa died. Just like Bambi's mom. Sorry, spoilers. Real old movie. Anyway, so I found another dungeon thing. Happy about that. Never angry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a torch in there. There's a baby! There's a baby! There's a baby! There's a baby. It's the scariest mob in Minecraft. It's a baby zombie. But, like an unwanted child, I took care of it. The professional way. With a sword. Sorry that joke was terrible, but here we are. That guy dropped a tome. That guy dropped a tome! Get over here, fool. I want that. Get rid of that spawner. Oh, you know what? Now that I've gotten Uncrafter, you're kidding. Another Manco crate key. Hell yeah. And more books. Oh, yeah. Everything's coming up Millhouse in this thing. Heck yes. Got another Manco key. Got a bunch of other cool stuff. It's actually going really well. And as I was saying, I can uncraft the anvils and get a ton of iron off of them. So I should probably start collecting those now. Once I was thoroughly satisfied with the mancro crate keys that I had found tumbling out through the place, I decided to head back surface side because honestly, that's not why I was there. Winter was coming, however. And once I got to the surface, I really noticed it. I even saw a pyro in the distance, which scared me. I was starting to get hyperthermia, though, so I figured he would probably be able to cook me a little bit. But once I started sprinting, I was fine. He decided to make his way to me, but he missed. He was now down there. And with my newfound heat resistance, I felt pretty dang confident in fighting him. But I still used magic to do it, just because it seemed like it would be easier than fist fighting him. The seagulls seemed to think it was pretty funny. So I just made my way down, and what did he give me? He gave me some scrap metal, and a little bit cold. That's all, that's all he gave me. Actually, no, he probably gave me some ammo. What am I saying? I kept on putting things into my crafting grid when I actually had meant to put them somewhere helpful. Which was interesting. But not the forefront issue. Forefront issue is that I should stand by lava or get inside a house of some sort and I wasn't really sure where I wanted to do that but I did know that the trees had snow on them and if the trees had snow on them that presented an opportunity that meant if I went back over to the ocean I maybe maybe just maybe will be able to get ice but anyway if you guys think I can get a hand on some of them sweet cubes please leave a thumbs up like subscribe if you really like my stuff you could share it with a friend that would be absolutely awesome I hope to see you guys in the next video Bye.